All right, so uh, welcome everyone um, to the first uh, flip video for this algebra class. We're talking about variables and expressions. So on your guided note sheet, you can see that there are many phrases um, that are key to what type of symbol you're gonna use. So what I wanted to do is I just wanted to uh, quickly go over some fast examples. This should be relatively reviewed from a previous math class. So the uh, first algebra expression that we're going to talk about is they want us to write an algebraic expression for each word phrase. And I see it says 5 plus a number d. So you can kind of hear me say it. it's simply just 5. It would be simply just 5 plus d. It's literally that simple. It would just be 5 plus d. Not a big deal, nothing to worry about. Next one they have, it says the product of 5 and g. 5 and g. So the key word there is product. And product, if you look at your chart, says to multiply. So we're going to go ahead and say that the product of 5 and g. So you just write 5, and you can either write times g, or you can write it as 5g and you're good to go. Uh, the next one says 11 fewer than a number f. 11 fewer than a number f. Now, you don't see the phrase fewer than, but it says, when you, when you have this situation, it's saying that it's 11 smaller than some number f. So you're going to say it's f minus 11, OK? Not 11 minus f. Next one, it says 17 less h less than h. So you can say that it is 17 less than h. Seventeen less than h. That is not 17 less than h. That is h minus 17. And that makes the number 17 smaller than h. The quotient of 20 and t. Quotient means to divide. The quotient of 20 and, and t. The quotient of 20 and t. So you're going to say 20 divided by t here. The next one says the sum of 12 and 4. So you can just write it as 12 plus 4 because sum means to add. Moving on to the next, what if you have it the other way? What if I have something like h plus 6? Well, you can write that as the sum of 6 and a number h. If you have something like m minus 5, you could say that it is, uh, you're using your chart, you could say 5 less than a number m. If you have this, q, and then you got the time symbol of 10, you could say the product of 10 and a number q. You have 35 over r, you can say the quotient quotient of 35 and t. H plus m, well plus means sum, so you can say the sum of h and m. And then finally if you set 5n, you could say a product of 5 and so this is pretty short to the point. You have a couple of examples you have to do in your guide notes and give it that a shot and then see if you can do the uh, we do as well. And I look forward to seeing you guys pretty soon. Good luck and may the force be with you.